Hi, Abraham. <laughs> Say hi to Esther for me. This is my second visit. We spoke in Dallas last November, and I told you I was coming. So I'm here. <laughs> this is my new family right there, front row. <laughs> I've been practicing to come early. I do come early, but I could never get into the front row. I'm always up on it. So today I said, anything that I'm going to do. So you focused your intention yes. into a stronger place and somehow managed to stop resisting, and here you are. Yes, <laughs> because I think I was worried about other stuff. So get so. to it. See that clock? It's running. Yes. <laughs> so here I am. Thank you so much. I have a beautiful life. Yes. And it's something that I think I decided long ago when I was younger. And at this point, everything is falling into place, good or bad or indifferent. Falling into place according to law of attraction exactly. and the habits of thought that I am consistently offering. Exactly. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> So today I practice worthiness because that's what we talked about in November, getting my vibration a consistent place where I will hold it if when I am talking to somebody else. That and why do you want to do that? Because it makes me feel good. Yes. <laughs> That's the reason. There are all kinds of other benefits, but that's the one. That's the one. Because that one comes immediately. That's evidence of alignment and all kinds of other good things will follow. Yes. And I told them this, this moment was the best day ever in my life. Because the fun was enormous. Yeah. So I've, I've been manifesting so many great things. Yeah. But what I have found myself at this time in my life is how to let the cash flow in like fiscal cash well that's the reason that we ask you why and you said because it feels good because you see the benefit of the thing that you're most looking for the benefit of it being the way you feel is because you can find that no matter what but if you then are taking score about the cash flow, which you can't control, then you've lost your connection. And so that's why you just got to keep doing it for the fun and the money will follow. Okay. When I do it for fun, it's instant manifestation, which I don't, I don't want to call it scary. In the subject of thoughts turning to things, mm -hmm. would you say that the emotion is instant manifestation? It isn't often. Because sometimes the manifestation is of an emotion that does not feel so good. And sometimes the emotion is of a manifestation that does feel good. It takes some calibrating and some deliberate intent, some focusing to focus yourself into feeling good. But once you've decided to do that, and once you've shown yourself that you are good at that, and once you are so good at it that you are consistent in it, that's what we call step four, being in the state of allowing in a really consistent way, then all the other things begin to fall into place for you. You cannot have one other ulterior motive. You cannot want to do this because of this outcome or want to do this because it makes this person happy or do this because it gets you this attention or do this because it puts this money in your bank account. You can't let any other thing be the reason that you want to do it without sort of shooting yourself in the foot because those manifestations are further down the trail. And so when those are of primary importance, and so you do this and do this and do this, and then you look and those manifestations haven't happened yet, then right away you focus upon the absence of what you want and then you lose your connection. So what you're looking for is consistent alignment, consistent enough alignment that there's enough juice in the pipeline to give you the manifestation that you want. Okay. Can source or the universe surprise me in, in such a way that when the manifestation comes, for example... Yes, of course, but there's an ulterior motive in your question. It's like saying, can you tell me what the surprise is going to be? And then I'll use that as the condition. And we say, let the emotion be enough. Let the feeling of connection be what matters most to you. And once you've turned that corner so that you really mean that, then what happens is you're consistently standing in that place of pure positive energy. And then the manifestations must follow.
They just have to. Okay, they just have so to. My question was, this Christmas I got very beautiful Mercedes Benz, brand new, 4x4. I had nothing to do with it. It showed up with a red bow. But then I'm like, universe, I've been working on cash flow. So this is what I'm asking. So my inner being is telling me that, oh, I needed a car, but not the cash. It's a serious question. Because I don't want to go sell the car for the money. Well, just know that whatever comes to you mm -hmm. comes because of what's in your vibration. And so, is it possible that you want the show of abundance, but you don't want the cash? Is it possible that you're worried that once you get the cash, that other people will begin wanting the cash from you? Did you want it to be ungettable? Did you want your goat to be ungettable? You can have it all. You don't have to have only one thing. You can have it all. You can have it all. The universe isn't saying, let's see, she wants this much. And so let's deliver it to her in this way. You have contoured all of that. Everything that comes to you is a vibrational match to what's in your vortex and your relationship with your vortex. We can feel within some of you and it's really worth talking about because it happens and it is not to your advantage when it happens. But if you can just for a little while, if you can step into this place where you have decided that you are going to trust the process, if you can step into this place where you've decided that things are working out for you and you will not question it and challenge it with nitpicking questions that are not significant to the whole of the well being that's coming to you. What will begin to happen to you is that the abundance will show up in so many facets and in so many different ways that you won't be having these conversations about why that and not that and why that and not that. The universe has the ability to deliver to you simultaneously on many subjects. The universe has the ability to deliver to you fully all things that you want. But do you have the capacity to receive it? What we're saying to you is the revelations are happening. The revealing is happening, but the receiving is your job. And so if you're receiving a little bit of it, that's good, but you could receive so much more. Isn't it logical that as you receive something, regardless of what it is, and you feel thankful for having received it, meaning you line up and feel the way your inner being feels about it. Isn't it then logical that you would be in the perfect receiving mode for the next and 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 the next? And the next? Yes. What we've been talking about a lot through many different conversations over this time that we've been together is about finding a way, some way that you can allow rather than disallow that you can believe rather than doubt that you can not feel guilty. Yeah. Feeling guilty is a long way from alignment. Feeling guilty will cause your abundance to come in the weirdest ways, <laughs> but feeling blessed and you must be feeling sort of kind of blessed or wouldn't be coming like it is. But you know what it is? We're right back to something that we keep talking about. And that is your relationship with other people is the reason that you feel guilty. And let's give some of the credit to them about that because they're observing you and they're having knee jerk responses to how you're living and what you're getting. And they're often in their shortage consciousness taking score. Why are you getting that? Why am I not getting that? But if that's what they're feeling and you haven't tuned up before you went over there, then they own the room. Then they're attracting from you rather than you attracting from them. Who's going to own the room? Are you going to tune in? So you have true power, true power to uplift and true power to inspire. Or are you going to be sloppy in your thinking and walk in and worry about how people feel about things and then observe them feeling the way they feel about it and then resent feeling guilty? because of their lack of ability to feel abundance, 
You got to own the room. You got to understand how they feel. It's all right that they feel that way. That's what their life is showing them so far, but it's temporary. It's not even real. It's old news. They've got a vortex. They've got a vortex like you do. And the abundance is ripe and ready for them. And it's being revealed to them too. And you want to, through your ability to receive for yourself, teach to the clarity of your example. You can't deprive yourself and teach anyone else abundance. <laughs>